But we still need to have our, ourselves a word at the 10,000 delights. Your forbidden fantasies will all come true in the 10,000 delights. You will always remember your visit with, a sh with a shame and excitement. Mm, pleasures to satisfy every taste await you. Plunge into your darkest and most depraved fantasies. Let's see what we can do. We have here. Boop. It went splendidly. Enjoy the abundance of lava around them. All right. Ow. It's a good thing I'm immune to death effects. Especially since I'm already technically undead. That actually lives. Something over there. Yeah, did, girl. Yeah, did. You done good, girl. You done good. All right. There's all of that. Beautiful. What's down here? Suppose let's uh head on into the ten thousand delights, chat. Hold on, first off, uh matter of reputation. Oh, he's in the upper city, okay. Conversation with Camellia. Hmm. And that one of the commander's companions requires help. The commander must go to the Nexus to find out what is happening. Oh. Well, if that's the case.
Okay, yeah, we're not gonna worry about them. Now I gotta figure out how the hell did I get up here? I can handle it. How's this? I like they're all just appearing and reappearing all, all over the place. Like, I don't understand. Oh, sure. We'll sell them. We'll sell them, but that's about it. Ugh. Luck Tavern. Let's talk to the Red Mask. And, uh... See what's happening. Get lost. I'm not looking for drinking companions. Who are you? None of your business. I am Red Mask, and that should be enough for you. Why did you send assassins after Latchberg? The woman smiles bitterly and removes her mask, revealing the unmistakable features of an Azamar. But what once was a surly, beautiful face has been disfigured by terrible scars. Someone must have flayed her, carving away entire portions of her skin. Hmm, that wretch deserves the worst death imaginable. When he... And when the uh, demons abducted and enslaved me, Ledford bought me and my fellow captives. I thought myself saved, but I was wrong. The worst was yet to come. The things he did to us, I cannot describe them. He destroyed our bodies and our souls. His sick mind is full of filthy, perverse desires, and he acted them out on us. It was a miracle I managed to escape. I could have left the abyss, but... It feels as if Latberg has sown the seeds of the, his madness in my soul. I refuse to spread his sickness to the other pe places. Happier places. Let his evil perish here in the abyss, utterly and without a trace. She does not lie. Her heart aches with a desire for retribution. Latberg is a liar and a traitor, and he must answer for his misdeeds, champion. We must go back and see uh, that he faces injustice for his crimes. There's that wretch. I should have sensed the evil within him. Nazmar, a, a child of light, how could he, he have done such monstrous things? Not surprising you didn't sense the rot in his heart. Ladverk has learned how to conceal his, excuse me, true nature. None of us suspected him either. Even though when my companions in misfortune were skilled at sensing evil in its many forms. Terrible, what, what, he, what did he do to you? I'm, am I not pretty enough for you? Are you afraid? Yes, I'll, I'll never be called a beauty again. No, it's not about your beauty or anything else he stole from you. I'm scared of what he's given you. He shared his pain with you, and it took root and grew. There is a thorny tangle of suffering in your heart, and you are impaled on its on its, on its spikes. Wow. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Why is Latvik doing this? Because he is a madman, a blood-soaked lunatic draped in the remnant of a holy savior, a psychopath, a filthy deviant whose sick desires can only be sated by the suffering of his victims. What happened to you after you escaped? 
I've walked the path of vengeance since then. Callistria, patron goddess of all who have been wronged, has shown me I must dedicate myself to this path. I am the re I am the retribution that stalks villains in the night, paints the darkness red, and makes the streets ring with their pitiful screams as I end their miserable lives. Latvert deserves a, f a fitting punishment. I will help you. Then go to his home and repay the man for his many sins. I will be waiting for you there. I will fall upon the deviant like the blade of vengeance itself. Together, we will ensure that he pays for his crimes with his life. I weep for her. I see how open and pure her heart once was. A shining beacon of kindness and mercy. But the pain and torments that befell her made her cruel. Anger burns within her. And she no longer knows what is good and what is not. I cannot not, and will not judge her. I mourn the innocence that has been lost. A sudden searing pain forces you to your knees. For a moment, you feel as though you are in a frying pan. Your skin is on fire and the agony is unbearable. The world goes dim around you and you find yourself unable to breathe. As you fade in and out of consciousness, you hear the angel Targona screaming in pain somewhere nearby. Then the pain stops. The hand of the inheritor is standing over you. His hands aglow with healing light. My righteous comrades, what happened? I felt no evil spell, but both of you suddenly screamed in agony. I don't know. It suddenly felt like I was burning. I was bound hand and foot, unable to defend myself, and I was burning. Wait, don't heal me yet, hand of the inheritor. I need answers. I want to study the these invisible burns. Is this... Are we already getting a second mythic? What? Uh, what could have... Ha what could have been? A curse? A spell? I didn't sense anything. I still don't, but we are in the abyss. Many things are possible here. I just hope it doesn't happen again. Well, if it does, perhaps we can better understand the nature of your affliction. However, we have much to discuss. Let's put the matter of the uh, mystery ailment aside for now. How are we going to find the Echo of Discari? Our mission is to eliminate the threat of the Nahindrian crystals. That should remain our priority. But we cannot ignore the Echo. Our insidious enemy knows that you are in the Abyss, <coughs> champion, and it is clear that he plans to kill you. Moreover, there is still the matter of the hostage that he took from Polar's fall. I know how the Echo Discardi thinks. I am certain that his lair is not in the Lucianier. Well, I do have another mythic quest. Ah! God. I... Yay! Yay! I believe he holds his captives in the Rasping Rifts. Interesting. Some of these bot follows are actually not showing up on my uh, Streamlabs. Huh. I have two sources where I can actually see uh, where all these follows and stuff, well, Oh, there, there it is. They're starting to show up now. Okay, but it's just taking a little bit longer. But hey, bot follows! Haha! -ha! These names mean... Yeah, these na names mean so little. Oh, hey, I gained one follower. Actual, maybe I possibly have gained one new follower out of this. Maybe. Well, I don't... Out of all of them, I have no idea who it is. You're my new follow. Please speak up. 
real follower anyway. He's not a bot. Not a bot. Anyways. <clears throat> I am certain that his, uh, that his lair is not in the Lucianera. I believe he holds, uh, holds his captives in the Rasping Rifts, his Lord's Realm. However, as I've mentioned before, he must have a portal hidden somewhere in the city. It wouldn't be surprised if the portal is sealed or guarded, but we must still try to find it. I can help with that. Let Z focus on his mission, and I will search for the portal. You can't go to the city of demons alone, sister. You, your maimed wing may deceive some of the demons into believing you're a fallen angel, but they will not all be fooled. That is why the champion and I ought to help you. I will not keep us from fulfilling our primary mission. Very well. Oh, and that follow is gone. Very well, I'll follow your lead. But first, I need to follow up on a on a hunch. I'll be near the portal that leads from the Nexus to Lucianera. Meet me there. So what do we do now? Uh, the Echo does not work alone. He has numerous spies and contacts among the demons involved with the world. If he can track down one of the Echo's allies, they might lead us straight to him. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay. Uh, we should search for the Echo of Discard's henchmen here in Lucianera, but it'd be a, mm, we'd like looking for a needle in a haystack. Fortune may favor us, but we'd be trusting everything to chance. A more reliable method would be to turn to the rulers of the city for assistance. After all, we are going to need their help in other matters as well. There is one tried and true method of hunting demons. Make them hunt you instead. The Echo hates everything and everyone related to Iomade. If I walk into Lucianera and start killing demons and praising the goddess, he is bound to send some of his servants after me. You will end up with half of the abyss chasing after you. Maybe. Don't, under don't underestimate me, though. I don't go. I don't go. In, I'm not going. In, going to sit here and do nothing all my life. All my life, I've been good at two things: killing demons and staying alive. And that's exactly what I plan to do. Fine, you can go. Excellent. If you need me, just listen for the sound of prayers and battle cries. I doubt I'll be hurt hard to find. My friend, <clears throat> it has been so long since we last spent time together, wouldn't you agree? We haven't even gone for a stroll. I have missed your company. Kamalia's eyes have an unnatural sheen to them, and her shallow breath emerged from her throat in a feverish staccato. Old man gonna go Rambo? Yes. All right, and take him. Where do you want to go? I'm pleased you understand me. No one understands me better than you. Amalia bares her teeth in a predatory smile. Oh my. I would like to suggest a little adventure. Take me to the brothel. Are you serious? Have I ever given you cause to doubt my seriousness? My request is not as simple as it may have first appear. Myra is demanding blood. Her whispers are growing ever more insistent, becoming overwhelming, muddling my thoughts, stopping me from thinking about anything else. We need to help her, Z, and I know how. In the 10,000 of Lights, there is a special service. It is only offered to those who already know of its existence. Deep below the brothel, there is a place where there are no limits. Do you understand? What's more, the service entails making a pleasure slave of the person your heart desires above all. I would like to seize this opportunity. You're very well informed about the brothel's secret. How did you learn about them? Let's just say I've made inquiries. All we do here is fight and kill. Isn't that enough 
blood for Myri already? <clears throat> and Kamalia sighs and begins to explain like she's explaining a simple truth to a child. To feed Myra blood, I must perform a particular ritual. Select a victim, cut him open from neck to navel, and wait for the life to leave his body. Then I lower Myra's amulet into the still warm flesh, and then I take a piece of that flesh inside myself. You already know how it works. You forbade me from killing your subject in Dresden, but here in the Abyss, it's an entirely different matter. We're not even in your land any longer. What difference does that does the death of one unknown pleasure slave make when the fate of Algolarian might depend on that death? Hold on. Shouldn't Myra be the one to select the victim? In the brothel, she'll just have to uh, accept whoever we're given. And anyway, why does a spirit from Galarian need the blood of someone in the abyss? Camellia's eyes do uh, does not come. Uh, Camellia's answer does not come immediately. You see, Z, the abyss has completely addled my little Mira's mind. Now she simply craves blood, any blood, from whatever source, even from someone not of Galarian. The brothel promises to turn the slave into wh whoever we wish. Promise to turn, turn the slave into whomever we wish. We shall do this and offer Myra a choice. I don't like your tone. Forgive me, my friend. Only it, you know, only it seemed that my request was quite easy to understand, but you forgive me. All right. I'll go with you to the 10,000 of lights. I'm never, I'm ever so pleased to hear that. I knew I could rely on you. Okay. Okay. Oh! There's the mythic quest. <laughs> Anyways. Um. Help Targana with her search. A bad feeling about her? Yes. Which is why I'm going to attempt to uh take her just her no one else just her the angels occupied with her with her search and must be protected from the denizens of the abyss Okay. Okay. So with that being said, Oh, you actually have this? Oh. You can actually wear this? I didn't realize she could actually wear this. Anyways. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Um. You. One of these. Um, hmm. wait, you got wisdom drain?
when Sozio got some ability damage too at some point? Well, it's gone now. Oh, huh. that's definitely weird. Anyways, Sozio, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna grab a couple things from you. Such as those. There's that. Excuse me, Rishley. I'm gonna need to give her those. It's a plus three. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to worry about that anymore. Instead, I'm going to up for perception. Um, yeah, I'll get her fencing grace rapier. Sorry for that. For a second there, I thought my computer was making a weird sound. Anyways. Um... <laughs> okay, the water creature becomes encircled by a group of flying bones. Deflection bonus AC for a number of rounds equal to the shaman's level. At 8th level, the ward increases to a plus 3 and lasts for 1 minute. 16th level, hmm, the bonus increases to a plus 4 and lasts for an hour. A creature affected by this effect. Okay. What oh, is that? Jesus. That sounds like a cricket. It might just be a cricket. Anyways, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take Battle Master. Weapon focus, rapier, weapon grace, rapier. Ah. Uh... 